Hey guys, hope everyone's doing fine. Today we're going to make our magic envelope, which is your project too. So you're gonna need paper, scissors, pencils, markers, tape, and a piece of string to do this, okay? Make sure that you have those handy before you get started. Um, so here I have a regular paper, right? US size. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold it in half. The only reason for that is because uh, we're actually going to do two different types of uh, patterns, right? So we need two rectangles, okay? So that's why I'm going to fold this in half. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut, okay? So then we have two rectangles. Cool. So now that we have two rectangles, uh, we're going to go ahead and get started with one, right? And you're going to start drawing your pattern, okay? Uh, there is only one important thing that you have to keep in mind. Make sure that whenever you're drawing, uh, your lines start from the four corners, okay? It's very important that you have lines that start from the four corners. So I'm just going to do something random, okay? I don't have anything in mind. Um, Maybe it will look like something at the end. I don't know, but I'm just doing something random, okay? So, as you can see, all of my lines, they start at each and every single corner, okay? So, I have one, two, three, four uh, figures, okay? So, four different um, patterns, right? Um, I'm going to do the same thing with the second one, right? And make sure that each and every single line start from the corners. And now I'm gonna do a totally different pattern, okay? So make sure that you have two different rectangles, okay? They have to be with different patterns. So now I'm just creating something completely different, okay? So same thing, one, two, three, four, figures. I, I need to have four figures on each, okay? If you have five figures, something's wrong. You need to have four for each. So as you can see, my two rectangles, they look completely different, right? This is what we want. I'm just going to take any rectangle and I'm going to cut it, okay? So just cut throughout the lines that you created, okay? So then you have four different pieces, right? Um, we want to go ahead and get started with four different pieces so that we can just put them together with the other rectangle. So I'm just cutting them. All right, so now that I'm done cutting, I'm just going to put the pieces together to make sure that they fit properly. Okay, they do. So. What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to reflect each piece, okay? So I'm trying to show you from my, <laughs> uh, using my hands, but I'm gonna reflect each and every single piece, okay? So I'm just gonna pretty much flip them, right? Um, so then you have an empty space, so an empty rectangle in the middle, okay? So um, as soon as you're done with that, uh, so just reflect everything, right? As soon as you're done with that, uh, you're gonna grab the other rectangle that you created, right? So remember that we did two? So now is the time to put the second one in the middle, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna tape the pieces together, okay? So, so now get your tape, let's get the tape and um, put the pieces together, okay? So you have those four pieces, so you're gonna tape them with the rectangle that you have. last piece so whenever you're done you can flip it right because since we put tape on this side what we can do is we can start drawing on the other side right so now is the time to actually draw something um, you don't really have to draw anything specific right um, I always tell my students that <laughs> it always look like fish to me this one kind of does right 
to me, I can see a fish for some reason, but it um, doesn't really have to be a fish or an animal or anything, right? You can just color the pieces differently, right? Each piece can be a different color or a different pattern, but um, I'm just going to create something, right? I kind of think this one looks like an elephant to me, so I'm just going to start drawing an elephant, right? And you might want to use pencil right now because you can get a lot of things wrong, right? You, it may, sometimes you're not sure what you want to do. So just use a pencil, you know, try to sketch what you, what you think it will look like at the end. So this is what I'm doing now. So I'm just trying to see if an elephant will look good and then I'm just sketching it, make sure that everything looks good. Um, as soon as I'm satisfied with my drawing, then I can start actually coloring it, right? Using markers, um, color pencils, whatever you have at home. Um, again, if you don't, if you don't know what you're going to do, if you don't know if you're going to do an animal or an alien or, or, or something, um, just color the pieces differently, right? You can do maybe stripes or stars or, you know, doesn't have to be something specific. Okay. As long as they're, um, as long as the pieces fit together and as long as the pieces are colorful and uh pretty then you should be fine okay when you feel like you're satisfied with your drawing you can go ahead and use a marker right make sure that everything looks cool looks pretty um, i don't have colored pencils right now with me so i only have a few colored markers so that's what i'm gonna do but please don't don't leave it as blank as this one is right um, make sure that you put some effort, some time into it. Make sure that everything looks good. Make sure that um, the you can't really see the, the sketch, right? Um, so take your time, right? Take your time. Make sure that you have a good drawing or a good pattern, okay? What, right now what I'm doing is I'm just um, using an eraser just to make sure that I have uh, everything good. And now I'm flipping it again. Why is that? Because I'm going to cut the pieces, okay? So now is the time to cut the other pieces, right? Um, so remember that you cut that first pattern, but now you're going to cut the second one. And it's okay if you cut um, in the middle of the, the drawing because at the end, this is going to look like a huge puzzle, right? They're going to fit together and you're going to be able to see the drawing. So. Don't worry about that, okay? Make sure that you follow the lines that you did previously. All right, so put the pieces together. Make sure that they fit, right? If they do fit, then you do have a good magic envelope, right? You should have four pieces right now. Make sure that you have four pieces. And uh, now is the time to use the string, right? Because we need to put those pieces together somehow. So I don't know if you can notice, but this one is actually flaws because I didn't have string at home. So just use whatever you have at home, okay? I'm just placing the string where I'm going to actually tape them. So um, make sure that they're actually where I'm pointing right now. Um, and grab your tape and you can start taping them, okay? Um, make sure that the string is pretty um, pretty much attached to the pieces because um, if you have something that's loose, you the, the paper might rip, okay? So make sure that you have uh, a good piece of tape so you can tape all of them, okay? so. As you can see, I'm taping the, the string right now, uh, right where the two pieces met, right? So right where we put the tape previously, okay? So the string should go exactly where you put the tape previously, okay? And we're almost done. Now we do have an open net, right? This is the open net for your magic envelope, okay? So we know that this is the correct order, so we're just gonna flip, okay? Because our drawing was on the opposite side, remember? So 
we're just gonna flip that um, and whenever you're doing the video to submit this is how you're gonna do okay so you're gonna start with the open net just like the one I have right now okay um, you can you can start folding on on whatever side you feel more comfortable with I'm just gonna start folding on uh, the opposite side of the elephant just to um, say that you know if I fold it, it doesn't really look like anything right but it still fits perfectly but whenever I flip it and fold it and fold it the other way around right looks like an elephant so this is exactly where you're gonna do okay you're gonna start with the open net fold it onto one side then fold it onto the other side okay both sides have to fit perfectly okay cool did you guys like it I hope you did <laughs> all right guys good luck make sure that you have amazing envelopes and I'll see you soon cool bye